हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आवर एस सी सी डिजिटल जोन चैनल एज आई हैड ऑलरेडी सीड यू इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट वी विल गो थ्रू ऑल द सिलेबस ऑफ नाइन्थ क्लास एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ एन सी आर टी एज वी आर गोइंग टू फॉलो द एन सी आर टी बुक्स सो दिस इज फर्स्ट चैप्टर इन टीचर्स सो दिस इज द बेसिक रूल्स दैट वी विल स्टडी टूडे इन दिस फर्स्ट क्लास so an integer meaning whole is defined as a number that can be written without a fractional component it means here that uh, integer is that type of number in which uh, uh, we cannot uh, includes fractional component we only includes a whole number mean uh, means complete number so here are uh, we have examples that is 21 4 0 and minus 20 48 these are these four numbers are integers while we have other number also that is 9.75 5 and 1/2 and root 2 these three numbers are not integers because they all includes a fractional component in it The set of integers consist of zero, the positive natural number that is one to three infinitely, and uh, additive inverse of positive natural numbers which is negative num uh, integers that is minus one, minus two, and minus three. Integers, uh, the set of integers includes zero, all positive natural numbers, and all negative numbers. that is also known as additive inverse of positive natural numbers the set of integers is often denoted by a bold face letter z which means german word zählen the denotation of uh, integers is uh, we generally denote it as uh, the letter z it stands for zählen which is which is a german word so integers are denoted as the letter z z is a subset of the set of all rational numbers q we all know that uh, z is denoted as numbers and uh, q is denoted as rational numbers so rational number includes all numbers all numbers that is fractional part fractional numbers uh, decimal point numbers natural numbers whole numbers so so therefore z is it means as integers are the subset of rational numbers so therefore z is a subset of rational numbers that is q like the natural numbers z is countably infinite as we all know that uh, natural number is infinite that uh, when we start from 1 it goes infinitely from infinity till infinity so z is uh, also infinite so uh, let's say see here representation of integers on number line so uh, let's say first of all negative integers uh, we have negative integers from minus 1 to minus infinity we have zero and we have positive integers that is 1 2 3 8 infinity so these three sets that is negative integers zero or positive integers these three sets includes and combined combinedly makes integers so we will uh, try here some questions so that we can better understand numbers or integers so here is the first question that is a number line a number line representing integers is given below this is a number line and is denoted as a b c d till o p and we have already given e and f that is minus 3 and minus 2 so according to it if we denote g h i j k l then we will start from here as minus 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 and it will goes infinitely 
after p and uh, same as uh, from right side we will also do in left side that is minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 and this way this will also go infinitely till minus infinity this is the second question arrange 7 minus 5 4 0 and minus 4 in ascending order and then mark them on a number line to check your answer for this question we will first uh, arrange these these all numbers in ascending order so we have minus 5 minus 4 0 4 and 7 when we represent these numbers on number line this will look like uh, look like like this we can uh, take any point as 0 and after that we can put according to 0 all rest numbers so according to 0 we have 4 here 7 here minus 4 here and minus 5 here so this is the representation of number how we can represent any number on the number line lastly we have some important points about integers let's see Yeah, first point that when we add a positive integer, we move to the right. According to this, we also know that when we add some positive number or integers, we will move right on the number line. As we can see here, after 0, uh, when we add any integer or number, we will move right here as it is 4 and my R7 and accordingly same as it when we subtract an integer or number we will go left in the number line that is minus 4 minus 5 and the third line is when we subtract a positive integer we move to the left it is just opposite to it as when we add any number positive number then we will move right on the number line same as we uh, when we subtract any number then we will go left in the number line and when we add any negative number then also when uh, we go in the left on the number line and when we subtract any positive number then we also move on the right on the a number line so it is now uh, it is all for today after that we will study the next topic and all the different concepts of number line on the next day thank you